with your lineup for tonight? Um, there's some guys banged up, so we'll know uh, not till game time, but Costellic will play. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, Ridley's gone back. Um, you know, I think he's done a really good job to talk about him. It's just, uh, you know, it's all about his development. And as much as we could keep him here and he'd help us, you know, I, I think we have to look out for him as a player. Um, and, he, you know, he did a real nice job, and he'll be back, I'm sure, at some point um, to help us. When Mark got sent down, you said it was all about touches and getting himself involved a little bit more. I'm guessing that you're anticipating a pretty hungry player back in the lineup tonight. Yeah, for sure. I think, you know, he, he got banged up. Um, and then he was trying to play through an injury, and then he was losing confidence. He wasn't touching the puck. Went down there, scored. You know, he's played important minutes, got his legs back. Uh, uh, yeah, every time he's come back up or sat out and come back in, he's been effective, and I would think he's a, a big physical presence here tonight. Goaltender of choice tonight, Coach? Uh, so Gilgo. Yeah. Someone had that first goal last night, DJ. What was the conversation like on the bench with the coaches, the video, as you guys weighed whether or not to challenge? Well, my thought is goalie interference. When you when you see that, um, it, it looks clear. The guy slides through. It's goalie interference. Um, but the letter of the law says if you hook, trip, or foul the player that ends up hitting your goalie, the goal will count. And, and there was a, an overhead view <clears throat> that I got um, that that wasn't on you know my tape afterwards that I had it in front of my feet um, that had. Debrinkat hooking him and, you know, essentially colliding and, and, and that's what makes him go into the net. And that's what the ref told me. That's what the guys in the back told me. Um, so as much as I wanted to challenge that, you know, the guys in the back have, have rarely been wrong. Uh, they know the, <clears throat> the rules, the goalie coach, and, and they all said it would be a good goalie, including the ref. As a, as a coach, when you, when you address the team, we're six days away from the trade deadline. Do you use that at all to tell your players, like, you know, if, if you want help, if you want care to get us some help, uh, you know, let's get some results? And... No, I, I think in the world today that we live in with so much information available, they're well aware of, of all scenarios. Um, th this team's played hard. We just played the two best teams back to back. Um, you know, Boston in a back to back situation, and then Carolina. Those are the two best teams in the National Hockey League. Um, and I thought we played them both very hard, um, had our opportunities to score, um, just didn't get the job done, <clears throat> you know, so much on our power play as we have. And I think our, <clears throat> you know, for us, our power play gets back to doing what they do. Um, you know, we get back scoring and feeling good about ourselves. But five on five and, 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 you know, all around game, the effort by the players is certainly there. Um, you know, we know what's ahead of us. We want to finish uh, the month above 500. We got three games left. Other than finish, what do you need to see from the power play here tonight? Just get back to doing what they do. <clears throat> Move it quick, attack the net, let your skill take over. And I think sometimes when you, you squeeze it and you, and you start doing things that, that you're not, that hasn't made you successful. We know what makes us successful. We'll have a talk about it today and we'll get back to doing what we do. Fair to say there was a little bit of a slow start to the power play last night and then it started to pick up steam as you got more chances. Well, the last power play is what we're about. And that's attacking the bottom, that's playing fast, that's chance after chance, that's retrieving the puck, that's getting it back, it's working together. And when our power play does that, if the goalie makes a save, so be it. But when our power play does that, we're going to score more times than not. Two of the three times we've seen Montreal this year, it's been one goal of games. Uh, they're five and two since coming back from the break. Fair to uh, think this will be another wire-to-wire -wire battle here tonight? Yeah, I don't think it'll ever matter where anyone's in the standings. Um, you know, you, they've got really good young players. We've got really good young players. And every single time they, they we play each other, it's going to be a real game. And obviously Suzuki <clears throat> has taken his game to another level. Um, and it's carrying these guys, you know, into the fight every night and giving them an opportunity, um, you know, and they've had some young guys really play hard and, and, and their goaltending has been spectacular. So uh, take nothing away from them. They've played really well. Um, in saying that, we got our own good young players as well that will be ready tonight. From what you know of him, what do you think they'll get with Chris here in the uh, picking up on, on, on waivers? Or? Smart player, um, knows where to be. Um, you know, he's played in the game a long time. There, you know, when you've been around, you don't get phased by a lot of things. Um, he knows where to be on the ice. And, you know, for Chris, uh, it's a fresh opportunity, and I'm sure it'll be good for them. Uh, one game back under your belt, how are you feeling? Uh, yeah, I feel pretty good. Uh, obviously, we have a busy couple days. These, um, you know, four games in five days is kind of tough. So, 
uh, just trying to do a lot of maintenance on the body, but you know I'm happy to be back and excited to be with the boys. When you're playing four games in five ga five days, sorry, uh, important to kind of flush last night's result and focus on the bigger picture of how these four games go. Uh, yeah, I think it's a little bit of both. Obviously, we gotta watch video and correct ourselves, and um, credit to them, they're a great team, but. Um, like you said, at the end of the day, we got a lot of games ahead of us, so kind of not flushed the result, but um, definitely look back on it and learn from it for the future. Well, you mentioned, I guess, there seemed like there was some frustration last night. Obviously, as you guys try to get chances to convert, just what was the feeling like amongst the group this morning as everyone got together? How do you move past it? Um, I don't know. It's obviously tough, um, not even scoring a goal in the game, but uh, we definitely had our chances. Um, we just know we got to, you know, have better execution on that and, um, you know, like I said, just learn from it and watch video on it this morning. Daniel Albertson was speaking at City Hall a couple of days ago. He mentioned he's been working with some injured guys this mm -hmm. year. I just wonder, did you get a chance to work with him at all as you're working way, way back from injury and what was that like? Yeah, no, he's been around the rink um, when the guys are gone on the road, so um, he's been hanging out with us a lot and it's, it's, it's really nice. Obviously, he has a lot of wisdom. He played for a really long time, so... Um, I got to go on the ice with him once too, which was pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, he's he's teaching me stuff, and I'm pretty grateful for that. Yeah, I don't. I think he's pretty more skill driven. I understand. So, is there anything that kind of stood out that, that given his resume, that, that has resonated with you your time with him? Um, I don't know. I think with him, he he's played with a lot of players, um, great players too, like Carlson. So he's kind of just teaching me some stuff that. Um, he's good at and just players he's played against that are really good at. So um, just little things here and there on the ice. How much scoreboard watching is there uh, in the room now that you're you know, fighting to get back in the, in the playoff picture? And how, how much is that? A, uh, uh, like how, 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 yeah. how much scoreboard watching? Yeah, no, I, I, we, we know we're pretty close. Um, we obviously look at other games and stuff, but... I think for us, the main focus is just every day. Um, we're not looking at the big picture right now. We're just focused on the next game ahead. So, um, you know, like I said, we know we're close. Um, we know we could take advantage of these next three games, but, um, you know, just focus on one period at a time and things will go our way. Do you, do you guys have a standings in the, in the, in the locker room or are you, because I know some teams yeah. do, some teams don't. But. Uh, no, I don't think we do. Not that I've seen, so. <laughs> Two of these three games against Montreal this year have been one goal games, wire to wire battles. Uh, how easy is it to get up for these division battles here? Yeah, no, they're they're big rivals for us. So um, you know, it's exciting for all of us, uh, especially playing here. They got some great fans, and uh, it's a pretty cool atmosphere. So um, whether we played last night, we're not really tired. We're just excited for this one tonight. Uh, another game under your belt. Do you feel like your uh, confidence and chemistry is building as you? Your tenure here uh, continues. Yeah, I mean, uh, we switched the lines during the games. I was playing with uh, Gambrel and Joseph. I, I thought we had some good looks uh, towards the end. You know, it was fun to try to build some chemistry with the boys. I played with Matthew quite a bit, so it was nice to uh, get it going again. Do you uh, expect a lot of family here tonight? Oh man, <laughs> a lot, a lot of tickets tonight. But I think it's it's great. It's great for myself, but it's also great for them. You know, a lot of support from them over the years. So it's awesome that they can come uh, watch us play tonight. Are these uh, division battles easy to get uh, up and excited for? Absolutely. Um, you know, like uh, every every points matter for us right now. We're in the race, so uh, these are a couple big games coming for us starting tonight. We got to get those two points and uh, got to got to get rolling in. Do you have a sense of like how big a number of family and friends could be? In your time? 20 plus, I'd say. Oh, yeah. yeah, like a big amount. I'd say uh, it's probably like uh, my biggest, uh, my biggest number since my first game in the NHL here. So it's going to be fun to see them all tonight. Gotcha. And then do you, do you come to games at the Bell Center as like a kid. Like, what memories do you have kind of being around here? Yeah, I live uh, li literally 30 minutes away in the east part of Montreal. So I come to Montreal Canadiens uh, quite a bit when I was younger. It was my team to watch, you know, obviously. So uh, it's always special when you play games, especially in the Bell Center. Uh, you know, every kids in Montreal dreams about playing there one day so it's awesome every time even if you're uh, if you're getting older it's, it's always a good a good time